Hi everyone, welcome back for more Let's Play Professor Layton and the Curious Village. So far, we've walked through town and gotten into the manor. Now, it's time to go meet Lady Dahlia, the person who summoned us here in the first place. must be Professor Layton, I presume. It's an honor to make your acquaintance. Oh no, the pleasure's all mine. Hmm? Oh, no! Look, no, are you dying? No. Come back, oh. sweetie! Honestly, why am I constantly surrounded by incompetence? This is a disaster! But what's... Lady, I'm gonna hate you. Whatever is the matter? Oh, this is simply terrible! My dear sweet baby, my Claudia! Seriously, you named the cat Claudia? Really? Your Claudia? Sweet, sweet Claudia, my little honeykins, my smoochie pie, my baby! Matthew! Matthew! Okay, obviously we've got a nice little selection of people we can talk to here, but let's kind of click around first and get some same stock answers. Find our three hint coins. Well, didn't mean to talk to you yet. You're Professor Layton, yes? My name is Gordon. I'm among those who requested your services. I'd like to explain our situation further, but right now it's probably best to do as Lady Dahlia says. So he's not gonna help us much. Oh, there we are. Eh, chandelier is not a hint coin. Hey look, there's a puzzle hidden here. I don't want to know the logistics of this. I really don't. But notice that this is puzzle 110. Yeah, this is kind of an interesting little bit where you will find these high number puzzles just kind of stashed around the village in obscure places. Which means that you pretty much need to click everywhere on every screen. But it's only worth 20 points, so it's an easier puzzle than what we've seen so far. Well, anyway, on the table below are four cubes made up of matches. Can you change four cubes to three by moving one match? Well, let's see. Oh, where am I going to put that one, though? I just have to figure out where to go. That's a trick. I can't remember exactly where to put this one. Oh, wait. Never mind. I know. No, that's not right, is it? Yeah, that could be right. Could be. Probably isn't, but... Yeah, you need to move that. Where am I going to put it? Oh, let's see. Where is... Oh, that's... Never mind. There it is. There we go. I'm stupid. I think I've got it. There we go. Sheesh. <sighs> yeah, moving one single matchstick completely changes how you look at the shape. 
So anyway. Piece of cake. Let's go find more puzzles. Of course we're gonna find more puzzles. Oh, you. Didn't really mean to click on you yet. The name's Simon. I'm Baron Reinhold's nephew. My father is the little brother of Gordon there. Or rather, he was until he kicked the bucket, as they say. Boy, you're a sensitive sort, aren't you? But I digress. So you're the famous Professor Layton. Hmm, I thought you'd have more presents. More presents than you got, buddy. Well, never mind that. I take it you won't mind if I throw a puzzle your way. It shouldn't prove difficult for a man of your ability. Yes, if you're as good as they say, this shouldn't amount to much more than a distraction. Number 11, Arc and Line, worth 20 picarats. Hey, as shown in the diagram below, you have one fourth of a circle. Within the circle is a rectangle A, B, C, D, at which point the edge of the circle touches at point D. Assuming that point B is located in the center of the circle, how long is A to C? Well, let's look at this rationally. Since this is a circle, this line is exactly as long as this line. Just because. Which also means that it's exactly as long as it would be from B to D. Because this radius of the circle will never change from point to point. So if this is a perfect rectangle, and B to D is exactly as long as this 10 inch line here, then C to A will also be 10 inches long. Luke, here's my answer. Every puzzle has an answer. <laughs> and just as I said, it appears that you're the real deal, Professor. I apologize for doubting you there. It seems you've quite the mind for puzzles. A lesser man than myself might consider jealousy to be a reasonable response. Anyhow, you're not going to get a word out of Dahlia right now, so you might as well do what she says. And the new puzzle's in the index. So we go clicky around some more. And there's hint coin number three. Perfect. You got anything to say before we talk to her? Madam, what is it? What in the world happened? My little Claudia got scared and ran off. Didn't she see her dart out of the room? I, I must have missed her. I'm terribly sorry, madam. Oh, you're just useless, aren't you? Boy, you're just precious. Professor, you didn't see which way my baby ran off to, did you? Your baby, madam? If you were referring to the white cat, I saw it run out that door a moment ago. What? And you simply stood there and let her escape? You should meet Thar. She'd get along well with him. Well, she is a cat. They are animals, after all. And the animals rest must run about from time to... You fool! She is not just a cat. She has a name, and that name is Claudia Reinhold. She is a delicate flower, and she is simply a mess when I'm not close by to comfort her. Matthew, I need you to find Claudia and bring her back immediately. About this little inheritance problem of yours, Lady Dahlia. Let's get back on track here. It's just a cat. That can wait! Can't you see that we have a more pressing concern on our hands at the moment? You could have stopped her and you didn't, so you have a responsibility to find Claudia and bring her back! 
sending the professor off to find a silly cat. The nerve! Who do you think you are? So that's a really good question. Oh, it's fine, Luke. No, it's not! No, it's not fine at all. Besides, Lady Dahlia does have a point. It does seem we let Claudia run off. It's a cat. No, she doesn't have a point. Other than the one that looks like this is going to be on top of her head. Sheesh. Madam, if you'll excuse us, we have a cat to track down. You entitled freaking... <sighs> My Claudia is such a delicate flower, even the coarse outdoor air might prove too much for her. I'm feeling really sorry for the cat right now. I really am. And noise at the manor was added to the list of mysteries. So now we have two. We will have to solve that one. And thus begins chapter two, the fugitive feline. And of course, the cat has escaped, so we must search the city for the runaway feline. Yay. Nah, not saving this yet. I save between videos. So now we must find Claudia. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's start. This way. Okay, you have any leads for us? Terribly sorry, Professor. I will personally search the manor and the estate grounds. I feel dreadful asking, but would you mind taking a quick look about the town to see if Claudia is there? Don't give it a second thought, my good man. We're on the case. Seriously, we're looking for a rather entitled woman's cat. That's not a case. That's, you know, lay out a saucer of milk and wait. But she's gonna panic and kiss. Oh, look! The cat. Yoink. Professor, there she is. And she's faster than us. Drat, she ran off. We can't stop now. Let's give chase, Luke. It looks like the engine blew out. So this is St. Mysteer, huh? The famed stomping ground of the late Baron Augustus Reinhold. I wonder what kind of tricks the old coot set up in this village before he shuffled off. Oh, Leighton, you ridiculous dandy. Just you wait. All the treasure you seek will be mine. No, I'm not doing that laugh either. So, someone pops up. Strange men, and... I don't want to know, really. Ah, uh, did he? Hey. The cat ran off this way, believe it or not. And guess what's here? Another puzzle. Okay, huh? Look, there's a hole in the boat! Oh, well, Professor, that reminds me. Have you ever heard the one about the sinking ship? Number 13! Now you notice that we haven't had puzzle number 12 yet. Yeah. We get to see that one later. Puzzle 12 doesn't show up for a good long while. But it's worth 30 points. SOS, 15 people are trapped aboard a ship that's going to sink in exactly 20 minutes. Their only chance for survival is the five-person life draft stowed on their vessel. To make matters worse, the waters around the ship are teeming with man-eating sharks, so swimming to safety is out of the question. A round trip to the nearest island and back to the boat takes nine minutes on the raft. How many people will live to see dry land? Okay. 
So how many out of the 15 can make it? Well, your first round trick, your first round trip, you have to grab five people. They go to the island, one sails back. Grabs four more, goes to the island, one sails back. There's 18 minutes, so you have time to grab four more people and get to the island. Thus, you have 13 out of the 15 will be saved. There we go. Critical thinking is the key to success. Yay! Yep, there we go. And two do not survive. Sucks to be them. Wow, great answer, Professor. It took me five times as long to get that one. And a new puzzle in the index. And it's time to cut the video. So, when we return, we'll talk to Rimon here, and then go keep hunting down the white cat. See everyone next time, folks. Bye.